Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back again with another tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to get your piano sounding super, super good. Um, we're using the FL Keys plugin because I, in my opinion, it's really bad and I don't really like it. So, I'm going to show you how it sounds without effects first. And I think that sounds really bad. Like I said, I would never use it. Uh, in my opinion, it sounds really bad. So, I modified it a lot. And uh, I'm just going to start with the filter. First, I have a Fruity Free filter. It just muffles the sound a bit. And that's the sound that I was going for. Um, and that was what I was happy with. So next, I have a Camel Crusher. I just put the preset on British Clean and turned the distortion off. Um, because I felt like it didn't need, it, need any distortion. Excuse me. Next, we have the EQ. And what I did with the EQ is took away all of the low frequencies of the piano. And um, it sounds really good to me. So, like I said, go with, um, well, like I always say, go with what sounds good to you. Um, someone may like more low frequencies in their piano. Um, and then others may like more mid-range and high frequencies in there. So, do whatever feels right to you, whatever sounds you're going for. So, now it sounds like this. And then all I did was add a compressor. Um, I left everything the same except for, I think I might have turned up the gain a bit. But this is basically like, I don't know. I don't even remember. But next we're going to add um, a Valhalla Room, well, v Reverb. We're going to add some Reverb and I use Valhalla Room. Um, it's a really good plugin and it ends up sounding like this. So um, I wanted to open up like the upper uh, mids, I guess, to the high frequencies. And so I put a mid and side EQ on it. And then up here, we have a left and right EQ. So that's it for um, this tutorial. That's how to get your piano sounding really good. Now the preset is going to be available in the description, the mixer preset. Um, I'm just going to leave it there for you guys. You can use this for trap. It's really good if you're making trap music um, in my experience. But thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I'll leave the preset down in the description. Peace.